Vertical New Yorkers by Horst Hamann. Let's have a look at the size of this. 13 inches by six and a half. And if you put a piece of A4 to it, you'll get, it actually looks quite small compared to A4 with an A4 next to it, but it does actually feel like a humongously long book. Okay, um, there is uh, 216 pages, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, something like that, 216 pages. Published by 2006 by Turners. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's an interesting project. I picked this up at a charity shop, funnily enough, and I just took it, and it seemed quite an interesting concept. It immediately reminded me of Richard L. Avedon, that sort of white um, backdrop with the, um, with the sitter in front of the, the white screen to take away all the sort of backdrop and everything. And then when I looked a bit closely at it, I thought it was a quite different project altogether. There was the same emphasis sort of finding different, um, different parts of the uh, people and culture of New York. So, you know, as it's called, it's vertical New Yorkers. I think it was 100, there's 100 people in here. Uh, and it states that it's a cross-section of um, New Yorkers to represent this book. I think, I, I'm not sure of this format. I am old school, I call it a technorama. It is a panoramic. If you're familiar with um, Joseph Kudelka's work, and that's a sort of style, you know, we got like it on a medium format, and you've got like three six by sixes, so six, 12, 18, 18 by six. Um, would be the sort of rough format. I may have that wrong, but I always this was the sort of panoramic. Um, it's interesting. I, I'm going to have a quick look through it. I just thought it would be an interesting. Um, it'd be interesting to have a flip through it. I know Horst has a lot of this sort of formatted book. He has a lot of this um, panoramic style, up, vertical style um, stuff on New York. His Panoramic stuff I really like on the um, on, on New York itself, and, and the, uh, his architecture stuff I absolutely love it. That was when I saw this, I sort of thought, oh, you know, I recognise the name. I think I'll go on with it. So at the beginning here, what's this forward by Roger Conover, and this introduced this um, uh, citizens of the 21st century eyes wide shut. It was uh, it, it, Roger's discussing. Um, Andre Breton's um, autobiographical novel Nadja or Naya. Um, in, in, it was about the surrealist movement and it was like this photo booth which, which he had. And I presume, going by what I'm seeing here, is that they all had their eyes closed. Yes. So I guess this eyes wide shut thing has been taken and put into this because I, what I didn't see straight away was the fact that. Everybody's got their eyes closed. It's an interesting format. Um, it's, I have to admit, it's not something that grabs me that much. I, I, I just wonder what the, the people have lost with their, with their eyes closed. I, I don't know, I, I, I thought it was a big question mark on this book. It obviously would have cost a lot of money to put this book together. and. You know, some really interesting people like Dennis Logan, a firefighter, model, teacher, adventurer, entrepreneur, dilettante, taxi driver, designer. But something else for me is that they in feel incredibly soft, some of the images. And that there's a lack of focus, like here. And it just seems to be a softness to it all. And if, like, I mean, like if I'm going to do something like this, I'd want it punching out, I'd want that sharpness, I'd want the contrast really hitting you. And some amazing characters here, I'm absolutely amazing. And I... I I'm not, I'm not convinced by this format. I'm not convinced 
by the eyes the eyes closed scenario I think there's some incredible people involved in this and I think it looks great on the screen I'm looking to the LCD screen and speak easy on it I think it's got a lot to offer in terms of the context and let me just look at the back but in terms of the style in terms of the style and the way it's shot I, I, I'm not totally convinced and to be honest what I was looking for when I came back there was a little insight into the people because this is supposed to be about the New Yorkers right but all I've got there's this massive, massive list of horse achievements. And this just feels like a, like, I don't know. It's a bit like a, a promotion of his work, but I, I, I'm not convinced by it, I'm sorry. I would have liked to have found out a little bit about what these people are and what they're about and why they're here, why, why are they, why are they chosen? It just doesn't fill me full of um, intrigue because, you know, I just, I don't know. Anyway, I haven't shown you all of it. I think you should go and make your own mind up. Go and have a look at it. In terms of wanting a project which has a really nice design feel to it, and a study of different people. And as a reference point, I think it's a great book. I think, I think it's something, if I was researching a project to do something similar, I would actually, I would feel like this was a quite an important part of my research. Just for the, just for the way it's shot, just for the way it's laid out, but also for a way of not to do something. I think this could be a much better. This could be more about the people than less about the photographer. But I'm not convinced that that the quality of this is that great. Anyway, my opinion only. I would like you to argue. I would like you to discuss. I am not saying I'm right. This is just my opinion. Vertical New Yorkers, you can buy it for a couple of quid on Amazon. Buy it. I will put a link to horse a man's work because I actually do think he's a good photographer. I'm just not sure whether this is worth the time, but it's definitely worth a fiver. Um, and I'll put a link to horse's work. Go and have a look at his work, check him out, see what you think. He is a very good photographer. Thank you.